Welcome to Taunton. Taunton, that's, um, that doesn't sound exciting, does it? It is, it's Vlogmas, Uploadmas, Day... Don't say, don't say, I don't even know what it is. Four. Oh, you're so... Is it five. Wrong? No, see, what you're messing around now. I don't know, it's one of the days and we're here. I told you not to say anything, didn't I? Austin's into these <laughs> tartan trousers. They are some nice pants. They were punk, they were very beautiful and westward and they were made in the UK. Or, However... Or England, I think. They're actually really cool, and some of this niche stuff can be really expensive, especially they do a line of uh, platform boots. Yeah, yeah. Which pop, punk, rocker, gothic. What, that specific brand? No, not that brand, but okay. I'm saying, like, niche stuff can sometimes be, like, where oh, the money is. Oh, I know what is. you mean, the platform, the studs, the leather, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, these weren't. These were £40 retail, yep. so to pay £10 would be silly. However, um, Austin was correct in picking them up, because niche things can, you know, do really, Sell. you know, uh, do really well. Um but he does swiftly put them back. We haven't been to Taunton in a long time. No, we haven't. Like, I would say, like, oh, uh, no, a long, long time. How long? Three years. Nah, yeah. not that long. Yeah. What, before COVID? Yeah, before COVID. Oh, okay, fair enough. 100% before COVID. And there's right. lots to choose from in Taunton if you are local to the local area. If that makes sense, that didn't no, make it any doesn't. sense. Whatsoever. If you're local to the Taunton, there's lots of there's lots of charity shops within Taunton. Yes. They're actually in quite a short like um, walking distance. Yeah, it's, it's a, a main high street. If you've never been there before, here I am. This is Mama B. Mama B is like what I would suggest is a Largan look brand. So they specialize in oversized um, uh, layering and. Um, sort of good materials, cottons, linens, etc. That's the logo. It does look like mummy, mummy. It's like meme. But it's, meme. And you can see there, that one is newer tags, but the retail, they retail just That was bids cotton, as well, though. Cotton t-shirt as well. It's not anything special. Austin picked up this. Now, this is like very large and looky too. And... Um, it was also really cool looking. It was cool, wasn't it? The fabric, the inside, the fact it looked like kind of overspray from a spray can. Um, it, well, over, like spray paint, I guess. It was really nice. They 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 put twenty pounds in. I was like, okay, well, let me work out how or who it is, because it felt like something. It looked like yeah. something, didn't it? There were no labels. There was nothing there. There was no inner label, so you just couldn't tell what it was. So even if it was something, and someone's probably going to say, actually, this is a blah blah blah. Um, it's hard to sell hard. when you can't. <laughs> when I could you know say it is. was Givenchy, but there's no labels, so you know. And also, when you're in a charity shop, if you can t kind of stand back and take ten minutes to find it online, maybe yeah. you do okay with it. But in a charity shop, just thinking about it quickly, uh, just put it back. It's quicker, isn't it? Put it back. This is sea salt. I love sea salt. Everyone knows it by now. This is one of the what I call a classic fisherman's Schmock. tunic. Oh, is it tunic? Smock. You get the double pockets at the bottom, and then you get the high, like round neck. Cowlish neck. Yeah. Um, this one was actually a sweatshirt, classified as a sweatshirt. The floral pattern wasn't my faves, and I don't think it's like a fave with the sea salt customer. However, it does. It is different. So. I like different, you know, different cells, doesn't it? It does At indeed. The day. Um, yeah, no, it does. And I think sometimes, uh, even though it's like in the same uh, sea salt realm, because it's once again like a fisherman yeah. style schmock, there are people who like that style who want something a bit more mm -hmm. kind of pattern based or funkier. And it's a quick 25 to 30, depending on your platform. I cross list vintage to eBay and all that, all the fun Jazz. stuff there. Um, talking of sea salt, do I pick up sea salt? I can't, I don't even know what shop I'm in now. I would just check. This is me. It's not you, is it? This is my view. This is you. Honey. Yeah, this is my view. Not sure what I'm doing there. Just perusing the scarves, I think. Mm -hmm. Just to check. I don't even look like I can squeeze through that small gap. Yeah. But there you are, straight away. Speaking sea of sea salt. So this, I have this in navy. I don't personally have a navy. I already have it for, for sale. For sale. In navy. And when I looked at comps on this particular, it's sort of like a chevron cable knit high neck. That's not it at all. No, but, it's something but I similar. was showing you that cable knit from sea salt is really popular. Is valuable. And valuable for a reseller. That was 17 new attacks, which I suggest is more than retail. However, for that particular jumper, mm -hmm. um, there there one were ones up for seventy, and they were selling around fifty to forty. Okay, there you go. So that, that's like a Colty jumper. I'm with you. This is Andor. I like Andor. It's a John Lewis brand. So very similar, I find to Hush and Kin and those sorts of brands. What put me off these were one. They're pink. I know that sounds funny because everyone loves pink. I love pink. We all love. They had to sell them black. Simple. It is simple. Long story short. And they were ten pounds also, um, which also isn't too bad. But it depends on um, I time of year, pink, you know, backless sandals, all that jazz. These are a pair of vintage Balmain or Balmain, depending on how you say it, um, boots. Um, they are fifteen pound. 
Oh, hello, that just went down there. <laughs> um, I've, I'll probably show you the sole or maybe the inside. These are older. So it was. these are kind of like from, uh, my guess is around about early 90s, maybe, um, sorry, uh, sorry, uh, early 2000s, late 90s. Um, there's the logo in there. And to be honest, they're lovely leather boots. They're, they're nice, but they were very worn. And the actual style themselves, as much as they look like a generic Chelsea boot, it just wasn't, it was like, they were quite low. You see how like, low, it's not- Low yeah, profile. Yeah, like, low, like a low- a low boot, I guess you'd say. However, if you get new Balmain, which um, obviously like See our runway, previous videos, Balmain, anything of that nature, then is absolute fire. Balmain is a very funny company slash fashion brand, um, and n not all of the age correlates. Does that make sense? Yeah. Not, so like, so like know. stuff for maybe like the last ten years, will will go for great money. Yeah. More often than not, at least. Yes. But the, on the flip side of that, the stuff which is kind of from the like I say nineties, early two thousands. Yeah. Not so much. Spotted this in the window. This is like an old school like menswear shop, but it's a charity shop now. They had these Marc Jacobs patent trainers for 60. They had uh, Vivian Westwood Polo, which is what I call a TK Maxa. And it was also very white and worn. For 25. It was like a grey white. <laughs> and in this window, they had a YSL vintage powder puff. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, and they also like the, had... the corally colour. Yeah, they also had some Charlotte Tilbury... Um, makeup and some becca makeup now my problem is it's in a window my second problem is we don't know if it's used mm -hmm. my third problem is i don't want to ask to go in the window because it's just awkward and thirdly i just don't stop it it's not going to sell in do, the window do, like do, that you know what yeah I, I i do take your point but being being a devil's advocate actually i don't think there's so much of a problem what i think is you're not really personally interested in that product that much. If you saw a Mulberry handbag there and it was fifty pound, you're going to ask the woman to move to move yeah, to get it. I, so you're obviously not that interested in it anyway. That's why I'm saying no, but it's product placement, is it? It's visual, visual yeah. merchandising. It wasn't a great way. We didn't know. We didn't notice that until we left the shop. Now this is a mind, mind you, mind. This is a mind, and this whole rail here and is, the one previously is sea salt. It's brand new. It's brand new. So it's obviously a uh, company donated. Um, and it was all new tags, obviously. I don't know if it was... I obviously didn't talk to the manager about it. But I didn't know if it was... Um, end of line or it was a faulty stock or you know you know seconds yeah the, you mean the reason for it being there outlet stock i'm pretty sure it, uh, my guess would be outlet based on the fact that later on when we go to men's and they once again these what i'm just passing now here are, are once Ooh, again the same or sea salt i don't think there's that many um kind of uh seconds if you will so i have a feeling it was just old stock end of line, end yeah. Of line yeah like uh would, would be in an outlet you know so if they have prices one prices varied between 15 and 25 depending on the piece like the velvet was more expensive for example um this look all of this all of this is all those shoes yep this is a charity shop bear in mind so it's like and also the things underneath that that row there they were sea salt as well which i just find i find unusual to have that much sea yeah. salt yeah i agree to with break you break up the sea salt we had some vintage trainers these were cool these are uh nike court um like they were the kind of the, what would have been the tennis uh kind of base brand um from I think these are probably like, um, I don't know, mid, uh, my guess would be early to mid to 2000. Um, the reason you can tell uh, kind of age wise without going, to, a lot of people go to the tag nowadays, obviously it tells you the dates that they were originally um, from. On older shoes, they don't actually have the dates. So that's kind of how you can roughly, you know, timeline them you know, from from when they would have been roughly produced. Um because once again, it looks like a newish tag, but they didn't have a date on it either. So it's it's kind of like you say, late nineties, early two thousands. Plus, the court was a late nineties thing anyway. And when I say court, in the inside of the shoe, I think I showed it. But there's like a, it's like, it's like a Tommy Hilfiger esque it's a kind tennis of tennis court. It's a tennis court, yeah. but it looks very Tommy Hilfiger on its yes, side. It's like green, yellow, and blue with a swoosh in it. Um, but these were fifteen pounds, and once again, my only issue with these, as much as I probably would have got them and probably got a couple of quid for them was the bend test people buy want to buy those to wear them and i, I don't want to bend them they'll snap they'll 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 disintegrate and that for that age at the moment it's just not worth it for, especially at 15 pounds this is men's sea salt look at it it's i genuinely like that uh, that uh, mm. that jacket there good for you honey the, good the, for that you. one i'm touching the uh cordway. um and once again we this is all this is all newer newer tag sea salt so it is an easy way to do retail arbitrage because there is money to be made new with tag sea salt technically but then my other point is are people savvy to the fact that um they're donating to 
new old stock to charity shop. Yeah. You, I, there's a market flooded I, I, in that instance. I, I, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. And to be honest, even this blue shirt was a great example. You can see loads now coming up, and I've just looked at about three or four. They had literally every single size up to like, what, maybe a three or four XL? Yeah, look. Um, all these are. All the same. So what I'm saying, that's why I say I don't think they're, um, for example, damaged stock. No. You wouldn't have that many. They clearly didn't sell that many of the, that item. I mean, I'd be interested to pick up a couple of different items, maybe some denim, maybe some velvet, and see how they went. Um, but then again, do I want to focus my business on uh, no. sea salt uh, Reselling. Well, no, I, I agree. And once again, there were some good prices to be had, but not everything was great prices as regards margins going forward yeah. as a reseller also. Uh, this is some uh, Ralph uh, Lauren. Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Lauren by Ralph Lauren is the women's section of Ralph Lauren. The giveaway is Lauren. There you go. Because it's, a, it's <laughs> both a lady's name and... The last name of the man who owns the company. Yep. So it's like a fun play on gender. So anyone who says, oh, it's a, a Lauren by Ralph Lauren piece, this is a men's... No, it's not. They don't make men's in that brand. That's a lady's brand. Just a, um, just a tip. Yes. But that's a nice embroidery, it's a nice Aztec patterning, which we all know is really hot with the Ralph stuffs. Um, but I just wanted to point out, because I've watched a few videos where they're... Where, the chair shops have put Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren in men's is ladies. So this was there was a quite a, core, a few core vintage coats here and jackets. Once again, this is bundle stuff. Uh, we we talked in one of our other videos about bundle uh, vintage. These were I think were between fifteen and twenty pounds each. I think actually there was one or two which were a little bit more. Um, is there any everything from Umbro kind of what I call Some are quite ma cool. ma manager coats. Yeah. Um, and they're, they are really cool. They're really cool items. They're cool vintage pieces. But uh, 15, 20 quid, honestly, even if you're selling it for, I don't know, 40 or 50, it's just a lot to spend what on a coat. What I would suggest is if, if you're into this stuff, this is what we're saying with like the change in charge shots, buying in bundles, getting uh, uh, company donations. If you're into bundle stuff, you're into vintage like this, buy the bundle. Yeah. Cut out the middleman. Yeah, don't buy from a charity shop. No. Like you can go and buy, you can go and buy a, a mixed ba bag of. Um, uh, sports coats or sports yeah. brand coats from these bundle companies for a lot cheaper than you'd pay for individual or items. I would furthermore suggest that you go and pick a company that does bulk wholesale or bundles, as I like to refer to them, or bales, whatever, and go and hand pick, hand pick what you want. Get get a price. You know, talk talk to the the seller of the you know, cut out the middleman and yes, exactly. You know, Especially for the resale side, like you say, if you're looking for a jacket yourself, like like tw like twenty five twenty pound. That's that's it's a bargain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, buy it. But you're not going to be like making a lot of money, and these videos we make are based on reselling. So that's all I can comment. Although this Nautica was a fire. That was fantastic. It wasn't from a bale either. It's fantastic. Um, it was really really heavy down. Um, uh, great coat. Yeah, and I always find the shops that have bales tend to, for me, be the shops that have less actual good donations. Good stuff. Yeah, and I, I feel like they, they got they like fluffing up. Exactly, fluffer. I just wanted to keep up the, um, not the puppy. There was some rollerblades in the window. Some skates. And I thought, you know, people are doing really well with them at the moment. Okay. Christmas time. I don't know anything about them, but there they are. There you go. You know, I like to believe in something for everyone. I understand. The skate fans out there are happy tonight. Yeah, that's what I thought. Or today, depending on what time you're watching this. This charity shop was so good. That I'm gonna gatekeep its location for the rest of the time, which is hilarious. Cause I told you where we, we are. We already told you. Yeah. We've already told you. So if you if you want to know where we are, then just scroll back to the beginning of the video. Taunton. <laughs> Taunton. Taunton. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Taunton. However, so men's was lame. So let's get past me. The men's. There we go. And <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that then. Actually, no, the men's wasn't lame. These were two really cool vintage Berghaus jackets. That one was cool, but I think the second one is even you don't cooler. Do not. Yes, I do. Oh, there yeah, it is. You do, Boom, bang, a bang. Oh, oh, are they vintage. got security tags on? They are, they are, they are. A lot of these actually in the shop. Really? Do, first time I've seen that. The, the thing which kills it off for me is the actual label inside. Like, the, they should bring these back because honestly, I feel. I these guess they are would. nice. Look aren't at they? this. Look at that. Look Ooh. at that for a label. What a butte, Clark. That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'm not paying 35 quid. But no, really but, but once nice. again, and I say that, that thing about vintage bales, again, I think, not that they do it either, I'm just saying I would think that was just two random so coats. it's a different quality, but you know? Like it's but it's the next level if you're looking for good quality, like, used outdoor gear or coats. Yes, I completely agree with you, Ostino. You call me Ostino a lot on this. I mean, you don't actually ever call me Ostino in real Sometimes life. Not that I, I want do. to be called that ever, but I'm just saying. Ostino? Mm. 
Well, sometimes I, I call you lots of things. <laughs> we couldn't say those on the video, really, could we? <laughs> anyway, why Austin's fiddling? I found these. Now, these are Escada riding boots. Now, riding boots in general are very popular. A lot of people buy them as, like, wardrobe staples of a good quality long boot. You know, the brown and the black. Mm -hmm. However, look at the toes on these bad boys. Those are <laughs> dangerous. Well, we haven't seen them yet. There Whoa. they go. Hey, actually, the lady at the desk commented when we bought them, didn't yeah, she? Yeah, they're so cool. Look how pointy they are. I was strucken by the pointiness of these shoes. Struck? I'm really bad at looking at boots. Stricken? Boots I don't even know is the worst. It. I never look at boots. I really, you know. I was going to say, do you know what? Shoes, everyone looks at shoes and trainers all day, every day, yeah? Yeah, yeah. What's boots. this? Oh, this is a brand called... Um, <laughs> Mo money, Mo money, Mo money. Oh, you... Correct me in the comments. I'm Mo bored of it. Mo money. Anyway, they want you five pound for it. Stream... Mo money, more problems. Yep. Yeah. Uh, extremely oversized. There's me looking up on the Google and retail on uh, their coats is about seven to nine hundred. So I was picking up that shirt as quick as I could say, Mo money. Um, that was Bora, and it was like a cute little tweed Parisian, you know, Chanel esque uh, tweed esque jacket. Jacket, which just, always sells. Just going back quickly to the boots, what I was saying was, I guarantee most people watching this goes to shoe, go go to shoe and trainers to look right through. But however, never pick up the boots or boots. look at the bottoms of boots because once again, a lot of them don't have stamps or massive logos, unlike trainers or shoes do. Um, so another little tip: try the boots, guys. You might yeah. find something special. And I've listed those boots for hundred and fifty pounds, maybe one hundred and sixty. I can't remember. Um, um, the shirt I've listed for a hundred, and what about the Bora? The Bora I've listed for fifty. Bargain. For 50. The other, another security tag. On a barber, which was about £2,000. No, it was no, just it was 30. 30 Maybe anything over 30 It was a ladies, but it was the kind of classic kind of quilted one. Flat, I call them flat quilted because they always go flat. Yeah, they do indeed. They um, do, don't they? they? Yeah, they do, and they never, they never really stay like. They, well, they're not, they're not, they are quilted, not they're not perfect technically, are no, they? I okay, guess. Okay, fine. Um, so you know, let's 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 leave them. Let's leave them alone. That's okay, sorry. No, I've never seen this amount of security tags. Maybe they have problems. I could be their bouncer. I've never seen I've never seen a security like that in a charity shop ever. No, unusual. They obviously have an, an issue, Austin. We don't have to keep going on about it. The poor people have an issue. All right. Um, this is an All Saints jumper. They've got the two hummingbirds on, which is sort of like a, I think it's nod to tattoo culture, if you ask me. But, you know, no one's asking me. It was a little bit too expensive. How much was that? £15? Did I, I think just it say? was. I think it was. For All Saints, that's a big price, eh? Well, the, the other reason, oh, we'll talk about this, because we have to talk about this, because this, this is, is just... the couples. Although, when you are listing the couples, this is a really serious thing. Make sure that um, eBay don't auto-correct you to the couples, because that happens all the time, I swear. On the flip side, you want to buy very cheap uh, uh, the couples on, on bids, go and try and find, go and type in the couples yes. jacket, and you'll probably find a nice one for my cheap. Face. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, was a chef's kiss for any. I yep. wasn't being physically ill. Um, that's it's a long line <laughs> pleated. <laughs> they were very similar. Motorists. It's a dress blazer. They call it a dress coat. A dress coat. Um, and it is tailored. It is pleated. Um, it's got these little chain buttons, which are just like super cute. Um, and I found the and uh, the stock photo, and it retailed for three hundred. We paid fifteen, and I've listed. I haven't listed it yet. Not that, but I'm gonna try for one hundred and fifty on it. Look at this banger, Austin found again <laughs> with the bangers. He's a machine. <laughs> this Third is a person, love it. Sweaty Betty hoodie, but it's got a really exaggerated neck detail and rose gold hardware. It was seven pounds i put them up for about 50 and um they normally go on vintage actually um random but it's a nice piece it's a bit more than like a, it was, a vest it was or... also really nice condition too because once again it's not a leggings it's not a vest it's not a base kind of layer yeah we're gonna haul all these by the way so you can see them more closely actually um, the next video we, to this yeah. will be a haul for this we can talk about the brand we can t you know you can ask questions if you want i don't know you anyway <laughs> i picked up a plaid here it is here, here she, she is. is um this color i can't describe to you it's called a brand called rails but look how purple. Vi right it's just purple. so vibrant blue and purple you know the lady the girl that blows up into a blue brie on willy wonka and charlie factory i got a blue brie as a dollar yeah, that's it yeah um i've listed that one for 70 um plaid shirts from this brand rails are like their thing yeah um and they retail for about 170 so if you watch one of our videos uh going back probably about a couple of weeks now yeah we had a jumper like a, a reverse weave just a regular jumper with a logo yeah. on it and that went for great money 
That went from the same company, no? Sixty pounds on vintage. But also, like you say, they're known for shirts. They're not really known for their slogan jumpers, no, no, which no, was no, it was no. a brand thing. So the shirt would probably even do, do slightly even better. I'm hoping so. Fingers crossed. Vesti is on fire at the moment. So cross list away, my friends. Someone also mentioned in comments about us doing a sales video. So do you know what, guys? We might do one. We might just do a cheeky little sales video. Because believe it or not, we sell some things. Sometimes. Every now and then we sell something. <laughs> <laughs> Which funds our lavish lifestyles or walking around... Charity shops. Quiet towns. Yeah. Oh, this was cool. <laughs> this Last time we came here, I bought Christy and Dior coat, so I was hoping for the best. But I think the camera dies, doesn't it? Um, It dies halfway through, so we don't get a lot in here, but I wanted to show you the shop in general if you're in the Taunton area so you can see where all the different shops are. Um, I'm trying to help you out the best I can. I'm trying to fund your reselling through the media aid of vision. Right. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what you're going on about at this point. Those shoes at the bottom, Austin does pick them up. We don't get a huge leak. Yeah, there we go. These are, um, oh, what's the brand? Uh, Tab Tabry? Tabry? No, Dudbury. Dubry. Dubry. Yeah, they're two different Dubry. brands. Dubry. Dubry. Um, we did leave these in the end because the actual retail isn't that high on them. Yeah, they're one of those brands. They're very, very popular and they're, they're quite... The no, retail, retail, Retail isn't bad. It's like it can be anything from like 50 to 80. The problem is resale is terrible. Yeah, but their tweed goes really, really well. They're like known they're for outdoorsy wear, yes. Jackets and stuff like very that. Very much like a... Like, 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 like oh, 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 this, oh, this. Was it always? Yeah, like yeah, that kind of that kind of vibe. Though. Yeah, but you anyway, know what I mean. Anyway, um, that's Taunton, guys. I hope you enjoy in this vlogmas because honestly, or this uploadmas because it is it's, it's taking a lot of work. So it's taking a toll on us mentally, physically, and just draining us to be quite. <laughs> emotionally, emotionally. <laughs> it's not. We love it. Hope love you, you do as well. Bye.